Everyone who owns a 2015 to 2017 Suzuki GSX S1000 knows how snatchy that throttle is. It's a very well known issue and there's really only three reasonable ways to fix it. You can install the Katana throttle tube like I did, which really makes a negligible if any kind of difference at all. You can also flash your ECU or you can adjust the TPS, the throttle position sensor. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to access your ECU if you did wanna flash it and how to adjust your TPS. Here's the tools that you'll need. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a four millimeter Allen wrench, a paper clip, or something small and metal that you can bend into a U like that. And last but not least, a security T25 bit. And if you're wondering what a security T25 bit is, it's basically just a T25 bit with a hole punched out in the center. So it's important to say that the paper clip and the security T25 bit are only needed if you plan on adjusting your TPS. They are not needed if you're just trying to get access to your ECU. All right, so obviously the first thing that you'll do is take your back seat off. Next, you'll need your five millimeter Allen key to take off your front seat. Next, you'll wanna take off these side panels and it's really just a matter of pulling the right way. There's just a rubber grommet here and here. So don't be afraid to give it a little yank. And then slide her back. All right, do the same for the other side. Next, we'll do the front quarter panel here. We'll start with this silver screw right here, and that is your four millimeter wrench. We'll do the same for the other side. Move up to the front of the bike, and there's one of those annoying push pins right here. So you kind of want to work that out. Like so. Up a little bit higher, there's also one right here. So just work that one out too, like so. And this is another situation that you'll need to know that there's grommets that you can go ahead and just pull on right on this red fairing, right on this S. And then you're gonna wanna pull forward. Moving on to the other side, you're gonna to wanna to get these push pins out too, like so. Same thing as the other side, there's also one up here too. And just like the other side, pull the rubber grommets and pull forward. Now on the front of the tank on either side, you'll see these little black push pins right here. You wanna get those out next. Obviously the same is gonna go for this side. Now we're gonna remove the plastic piece of the tank cover by removing this black screw and this silver screw, obviously on either side. And this is where you'll need your five millimeter Allen wrench again. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And this red piece, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of flare out these sides a little bit. You see how they're moving on either side. Just flare it out a little bit and then kinda of pull gently towards you backwards. You'll see there's actually tabs right there that you wanna be careful not to break. They go in these little holes right here. The next thing you wanna do is remove this ignition cover right here. And there's really nothing that's really holding it onto the bike, so you can actually just pull it right off. And once you take that ignition cover off, you'll see a 10 millimeter screw right there on either side of the ignition. So go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket, pull that out. We'll do the same for the other side. Now, if you're watching this video just to see how to get access to your ECU, you're pretty much done because all you have to do is lift the tank up here and your ECU sits right on top right here. Obviously mine's gone, I'm getting mine flashed. So at this point, you're gonna need something that's not gonna scratch your bike to hold up your tank. Personally, I use a piece of wood, so you can actually just lift the front of the tank up and put whatever you got down there. But for those who want to continue watching the video to learn how to adjust your TPS, we're going to move to the back of the bike and you'll see this little white housing here. You're going to take the cover off. And this is where your paper clip comes in and you'll see six leads on there. You want the one, if you're looking at the clip right here, if you have the clip to your right, you're going to want the bottom two right here. This is where your little paper clip comes in. And the purpose of this is you want to put the bike in dealer mode. 
all right? Now go ahead and turn the key in the ignition, but don't start the bike. And at the bottom left of the dash, you'll see a code that says C00. And to the left of the C, you'll see a line either at the top of the C, the middle of the C, or at the bottom of the C. Ideally, you'll want that line directly in the middle. You don't want it at the top or the bottom of the C. So this is where you're gonna need that security T25 bit and you cannot move on without it. So what you wanna do is just disconnect this black piece right here because the screw that you have to get to is behind it. And it's a pretty simple disconnect. Just push the button and pull it off, pretty simple. Just move that to the side somewhere. So the piece that you're actually gonna be adjusting is this sensor right here, this gray piece connected to this black piece by either pushing down on it or pulling up on it. And you have to be careful because it's very sensitive. So you kind of have to make micro adjustments, but you cannot adjust it without first loosening this screw right here with a security T25 bit. And you don't want to take the screw all the way out. You just want to loosen it enough to the point where this has some kind of range of motion. So after you loosen that screw a little bit, if you turned off your dash, go ahead and turn it back on and monitor that line next to the C as you push down on this sensor or pull up. Like I said, you're gonna want that dash in the middle of the C. So just play around pushing down, pulling up until you get that nice sweet spot where that dash is right in the middle of the C. And that's gonna do it for the tutorial on how to access your ECU and adjust your TPS. If you need help putting your bike back together, just watch this video in reverse. But anyway, I wanna thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out. So if it did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if not, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more motorcycle related content. I, of course, am John.com and I'll see you in the next video.